thanks, Gillian. Great to see everyone. And great to see uh, some other unions here as well today. I've seen the CFMEU. The ETU. The AMWU. And I've seen CPSU people around as well. And let's not forget the cuts being imposed on the public service in general. So great to see the other unions. And fantastic to see all of the people who have come today the staff, the students, the community supporters of TAFE, especially those from outer suburban and regional TAFE. What a great effort you have made to come here today. Yay! Today is a momentous day because today and in the last week or so we have seen the essence of the value government exposed. This is a government, let's, let's be clear about this, this is a government that has chosen to build prisons and close tapes. Let's not be confused about the rhetoric of a tough budget for tough times. This government has made choices about where it spends its money and it's putting a billion dollars into prisons while it cuts hundreds of millions out of tapes. What sort of priorities are those? Be aware too that the public sector cuts in Victoria now are bigger per capita than the cuts going on in Greece. <laughs> now what has that spurred in Greece? That has spurred in Greece a serious fight back. And it's the sort of fight back we need to develop in Victoria today. That sort of fight back. It's time for us to reject the nonsense of the, the free market peddlers once and for all in this state and this country. Yeah. Hundreds of millions of dollars have been stripped, as Mary said, from the TAFE sector and put into private providers and the businessmen friends of the Barrio government. 1,500 jobs at least will be cut directly from TAFE and then there will be further jobs in the broader community, especially in regional towns after a massive hit. Services to students, including disabled students and disadvantaged students, will be cut. Our members, you people, our members in, de in TAFE are professionals and yet there is no, uh, you're being complete, treated with complete contempt by this mob behind us. The money that we thought as taxpayers and members of the Victorian community was going to be uh, paid for, spent on the education of our children, our friends, our colleagues, is now being spent on funding the, private, pro the profits of private training organisations and on the redundancies that our staff are going to be hit with. That's a disgrace. That's a waste of public funds. This is not just a matter, of course, of the industrial rights of TAFE staff, although they're very important and they're very important to us as a union. It's not just a matter of quality education, which is, of course, vital and important to the students among you here today and the broader community. This is actually a matter of fundamental social justice. And you stand here today because you understand that, and I stand here as a representative of the National Tertiary Education Union because I understand that. We believe in social justice. We believe in the right of all Australians to a high quality public education and training system. We believe in the right of young people to learn a trade. We believe in the right of migrants and refugees to get the support they need to start a new life in this country. We believe in the right of workers who have been made redundant to learn a new skill and to reject the scrap heap that business would otherwise throw them on. We believe in the transformative value of education, its ability to give working class kids new horizons and new opportunities. The kinds of opportunities that Ted Bowyer would, would rather confine to his children and the children of the Liberal Party. We believe in all of those things. Everyone here believes in all of those things. What does Mr Bowyer believe in? Well, he believes in free markets, obviously. Is there anything else? I'm not sure. Uh, he believes... Well, I guess he believes in privatisation, the trans transfer of public wealth into the hands of his mates and the already wealthy. Oh, he believes in prisons as well. We shouldn't forget that. Broken promises! He believes that. Broken promises! 
Our public assets, let's face it, and let's give this message to the government, do not belong to a particular government to wreck and sell off. They are ours. Who here asked, was asked about the destruction and the privatisation of TAFE? I wasn't. No one. Will you stand up to fight against the theft of our assets, of the general... generations of investment by our ancestors that is being destroyed by these people. Will you, will you stand up for public edu education as a right, remembering Nelson Mandela's words, which were, education is the most powerful weapon which you can use to change the world. Maybe that's what they're scared of. If you will, make sure you sign on to the forms that are going around about the campaigns. This is the beginning of a two-year or more campaign to get rid of this government for a start. But let's not forget that the ALP opened the gate and let the barbarians in. So the ALP now has to show where it really stands. Here is opportunity for it to cast aside the free market madness that has infected it for years to show that it stands with TAFE teachers, students and local communities in fighting for quality, accessible public education. Here's your chance. Let's go for it. Just a few very prescient words from the band Rage Against the Machine. Ain't it funny how the factory doors close around the time that the school doors close, around the time that the doors of the jail cells open to greet you like the Reaper? Doesn't that sound like Victoria today? Let's not allow Bowie's grim vision of prisons rather than education institutions to take a hold in Victoria. Let this be the beginning of our long-term fight to destroy the economic rationalists and neoliberals, and let's restore the purpose of government to serving the interests of the people. Thank you.